Uh, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to, to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <coughs> Order of six. Uh, can I get a roll call, please? Michael Cashman. Present. Thomas Wood. I'm also here. Meg LaBabe. Here. Barbara Heber. Here. Charles Costa. Here. Ricky Collins. Here. James Coffey. Here. Amy Menard. Here. All right. We are going to go into a uh, special presentation, and I would ask uh, <coughs> that the uh, proclamation be read uh, this evening. Okay. Whereas there are approximately 800,000 volunteer firefighters serving communities across the United States, locally over 200 men and women firefighters from, different, from five different stations dedicate extensive time and effort each day into protecting each and every member of our community from harm. And whereas May 4th is recognized as International Firefighters Day, a time for honoring and recognizing the sacrifices that firefighters make to ensure that their communities are as safe as possible for each resident. We at the town of Plattsburgh wish to honor our own firefighters who dedicate hours of their time towards training and community ed education. Where, and whereas Morrisonville Fire Department was founded in 1913, Katyville Fire Department was founded in 1952, South Plattsburgh Fire Department was founded in 1959, Cumberland Head Fire Department was founded in 1961, and District 3 Fire Department was founded in 1971. <clears throat> and whereas the work of these men and women has not gone unnoticed, International Firefighters Day is also a day in which current and past firefighters are to be thanked for their contributions in many different aspects within the community, including fire safety education, the installation of smoke alarms, and countless others. And whereas the volunteerism of these members of these five departments also leaves a positive impact on the local economy by eliminating costs and in turn keeping taxes low. And be it resolved, the Town of Plattsburgh would like to honor each fire department, including their past and present members. We will now proudly display patches from each department as a sign of our gratitude for their service at the Town Office, 151 Banker Road, Plattsburgh, New York, 12901. Resolved that the town board also encourages our community and local businesses to demonstrate their support for the members of each fire department and their work as good ambassadors for Plattsburgh. And we have a, a copy of uh, the proclamation. I'd like to call uh, a representative or representatives from uh, each of the departments to come forward and receive this on behalf of your membership. Uh, the first I'd like to call up is Morrisonville Fire Department. <coughs> Thank you very much. We appreciate it. Uh, next, I'd like to call up Katyville Fire Department. Thank you uh, I'd like to call up South Plattsburgh Fire Department. Thank you. Uh, I'd like to call up uh, Cumberland Head. And then, last but not least, District 3. Thank you very much. Um, before you know, we conclude, uh, I hope you'll take a look at it, and I, I thank you for dedicating one more thing to Town Hall by giving one of your patches. Um, when I became supervisor, I was really shocked that we didn't have anything on display that recognized the men and women of uh, our volunteer fire departments. You give immensely to our community. Um, and I was able to join uh, many members, uh, in particular District 3 over the weekend, during an emergency management exercise. And I gotta tell you, that immersive experience was very eye-opening. 
Um, I've always appreciated the opportunities to join you for fellowship at your banquets and you know various other activities that go on. Um, but from my heart, from my family, and this entire board, we are very, very grateful for all that you do. And anything that we can do to assist you uh, in your efforts, please do not ever hesitate to call upon the board so we can work uh, with you um, and continue to collaborate on behalf of the community. So thank you very much. Thank you. Very welcome to, to stay for the rest of the meeting. Uh, but uh, if any of the board members want to say anything, I would, I would give it to them as well. So, any comments from the board? I just echo Michael's sentiments and thank you very much. Appreciate it. On behalf of a daughter whose uh, father is deceased now, but served 40 years as a firefighter in the military for 20 and then 20 in the civil service, uh, here in my thoughts and hearts. Thank you very much. And I'll take just a little bit different angle uh, because obviously, you know, I wear that uniform from time to time. But uh, I just want to thank each one of the departments for the collaborative group that we have and, and the fact that the departments within the town are able to work so well together. Uh, you know, I know our relationship with the other departments in the town has always been great. Uh, we're able to accomplish a lot for the town and hope to be able to do that for many years to come. So thank you for that part of it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. I appreciate everything that you do. Um, I also want to tell you that it's a very short meeting if you would want to stay. <laughs> <laughs> what Tom is really saying is he liked the pancake breakfast. <laughs> thank you very much, folks. We're going to proceed. All right? Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Uh, resolution 131, approve the minutes of the previous meeting. Resolved that the minutes of April 5th and April 19th, 2018 be approved for the reading of the minutes to be dispensed. Is there a motion? So, uh, Costa, in favor. Any discussion? Seeing none. Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Uh, so does Carrie. Is there anything for public comment this evening? Anything for public comment this evening? I, I, I take a second just to say thank you. Thank you for recognizing uh, the, the fire departments, the uh, five, you know, director of emergency service for the county. They, they pay me to do things uh, uh, like that, but uh, I'm still a volunteer at heart and uh, uh, appreciate the fact that uh, you've taken some time out of, uh, out of the meeting here and, and uh, the effort to put the patches out and recognize the, the hard work of a lot of volunteer folks, which, which, I, which I still do that as well. I get up in the middle of the night and go to calls with them too. So. <laughs> Absolutely. And we, and, we, and we appreciate what you do for our community too. I mean, from... This is, a, this is about them, not, not the... I, I recognize that. But, um, you know, every volunteer group needs people that support volunteers so that they can do their best job. Yeah. And uh, uh, you folks have been very helpful on that. And we, we are, we're appreciative of that as well. So thank you. We try to. So. Uh, any additional public comment? Seeing none, we will move forward. Resolution 132, Abstract 5A-18. Resolved that the Abstract of Audited Claims Number 5A-18 for $42,820.33. Abstract 5A-18 prepays for the amount of $494,139.71 be received as reviewed by the Audit Committee and the Supervisors hereby authorized to pay said abstracts. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Ebert, is there a second? Second. Wood. Any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Gary. Resolution 133, 2018 budget amendment. Whereas the town may need to amend the 2018 budget to reflect changes in revenues and expenditures during the year. Therefore, be it, whereas budget amendments will be offset from existing fund balances or additional revenues. Therefore, be it resolved that the town board of the town of Plattsburgh authorize the following budget amendment. For the general fund, an increase in appropriation for um, noted account, park field maintenance, $4,000. Increase in revenue um, for the noted account, gifts and donations, $4,000. To reflect a donation from Excel, Excel's health plan for the installation of a futsal court at Waltz Hill Park. Here for the resolve that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Costic, is there a second? Second. Hebert, any discussion? What was the donation? <clears throat> was it a specific donation? There was, uh, it was a donation for the 
or is it? I can't say the word. Where is it? Futsal. Futsal. Barb, you want to? You want to? Do you take the photo? The, <coughs> the photo. It's in the. Uh, it's in our office. Tell Meg about the uh, thing you were talking about earlier. This one. I I know about it. I asked that question without thinking. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Meg, uh, yeah. Mal will do that. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Taking over one of the courts. Yeah. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Gary, sir. Uh, 134, 2018 budget amendment. Whereas the town may need to amend the 2018 budget to reflect changes in revenues and expenditures during the year, therefore be it. Whereas the budget amendments will be offset from existing fund balance or additional revenues, therefore be it resolved that the town board of the town of Plattsburgh authorize the following budget amendment. Increase appropriation for contractual expenses by $1,260. Increase revenue for said account, gifts and donations, $1,260. To reflect a donation from the foundation of CDPH to fund the pickleball and karate summer programs, be it further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Wood, is there a second? Second. Uh, Lafayette, any discussion? Seeing none. Oh, well, I would just follow up my thoughtless question from the, first, the previous <laughs> resolution to say that these are donations that Mel and Aaron have sought out on their own to fund new programs yep. in their department. We don't have a grant writer here on staff. They're just going far above and beyond. Mm -hmm. Yep, they do, they, they do very well with that. So, all right, anything further? Seeing none, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Gary. Resolution 135, disposal of surplus equipment. <coughs> Whereas that is that it has been determined that the computer and ID card machine listed below are obsolete and no longer needed. And uh, Dell Optiplex both listed and the card machine with camera listed. Whereas the computer <coughs> and ID card machine will be turned over to the department head for building the grounds for the proper disposal. Therefore, be it resolved that the town board does hereby authorize the disposal of said computer and ID card machine, and it is further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager and the department head for buildings and grounds. And is there a motion? So moved. Uh, Wood. Any discussion? Um, I would just add, um, we are getting rid of the ID machine. This is an outdated piece of equipment uh, that cannot be used with the current configurations. Uh, and speaking of a possible partnership, uh, we would we would love to work with the Office of Emergency Management to maybe do some shared services. I was, I was just thinking when you said that, did, did, we, did we get involved in that? Yes, the, so, safety, yeah, the safety committee is working on that. Kelly did send us over prices for uh, you know, the stock and et cetera. So yeah. Yeah, we do have a, a place to get the name. Yeah, it, it made more sense than to try to uh, Retrofit isn't the right word, but you, you know what I'm trying mm -hmm. to talk about. So, upgrade. Yeah, upgrade. Uh, all those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does carry. Resolution 136, telecommunication escrow deposit return. Whereas the town's <coughs> telecommunication consultant, CMS, has completed its review of the projects of AT&T and Sprint and has deemed the projects completed. Therefore, be it resolved that the supervisor is hereby authorized and directed to release said deposits plus accrued interest to date, and is further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager. Is there a motion? So, uh, Kostik, is there a second? Second. Dave, any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Gary. Resolution 137, request to attend the New York State Assessors Certification Conference. <coughs> Whereas the Town of Plattsburgh Assessor is required to maintain professional training and development, whereas it is in the best interest of the Town Assessor to be updated and knowledgeable about new regulations regarding accessible inventory of property valuation. Now therefore be it resolved that Brian Dowling, Town Assessor, be allowed to attend the New York State Assessor Certification Conference held on June 5th and 6th, 2018 in Boardsville, New York, and is further resolved that $240 including registration fee that is that be charged to the assessing department budget account number as so noted and is further resolved that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager and Mr. Dowling. Uh, is there a motion? So moved. Heber, is there a second? Second. Full phase. Is there any discussion? Seeing none. All those in favor please say aye. 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 So does Gary. 
Resolution 138, uh, request to purchase a mower with the attachment to the building and grounds maintenance department. Whereas it is necessary to maintain equipment for the continued maintenance and improvements of the town building and grounds within the town of Plattsburgh, whereas procedures for purchase of commodities, equipment, or goods, and contract values requires the town to solicit price quotes for amounts in excess of $5,000. Whereas Richard Rasco, building and grounds department head, has solicited prices and is requesting permission to place an order for a mower with attachments. And whereas quotes have been received and the lowest total estimated cost of a mower with attachments is from Dragoon's Farm Equipment for $18,378.48. Therefore, be it resolved that the town board approve the purchase as recommended and that the building and grounds department head is hereby authorized to make said purchase. Be it further resolved that payment be made from uh, made payable from 2018 Buildings and Grounds budget account as so noted, and that a copy of this resolution be given to the finance manager and Buildings and Grounds Department head Richard Brasco. Is there a motion? Mm -hmm. uh, the favor. Is there a second? Second. Caustic. Any discussion? We got the trading on this one too. Yes. <coughs> so this is going to cost that much. <coughs> Anything else? Seeing none. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 So does Carrie. At this point, I would consider, because I was chastised the last time by saying entertaining, uh, I would consider a um, motion to go into executive session to discuss the current pending litigation with the city of Plattsburgh as it relates uh, to Saranac Power, uh, as well as uh, the work history of several employees. Is there a motion uh, to go into executive session? I'll make a motion. Okay. Thank you. Is there a second? Second. Hebert. Uh, can I get a quick roll call on that, please? Thomas Wood? Yes. <coughs> Nick Lefay? Yes. Barbara Hebert? Yes. Charles Costick? Yes. Michael Cashman? Yes. Time we will go into executive session is 6.15. Uh, no action to be taken. <coughs>